For, for cheap, cheap games and Steam codes, please visit the link in the description to G2A.com. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Gnosis the God here, and today I'm going to be showing uh, PC players how you guys can boost your frame rate on DCUO substantially. Unfortunately, this is only going to work for PC players, so for PS players, if you're on PS3, you're going to have to be locked at 30 frames per second. There's really nothing you can, you can do about that. And on a PS4, you can actually boost it all the way up to 60 frames per second, but you can't go past that. Now, if you have a decent uh, gaming PC, a decent rig, you can actually boost past 60 frames per second. And I'm going to show you guys that here in a second. Alright, um, so to do this, guys, all you're going to need to do, right now my game is at 30 frames per second. Now, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see this on YouTube, unfortunately. Um, but, but if, if you, you guys, guys are on PC, I know a lot of you guys, some of you guys are, um, that are going to be watching this video. If you guys are, just go ahead and try this out, please, and then download Fraps or Bandicam and test to see how high your frame rate is. Because I guarantee that if you have a good enough rig, you'll be able to run um, past 60 frames per second, or at least 60 frames per second. Um, I'm running a GTX 660, so not the most powerful graphics card, but it can boost past 60 frames per second. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So if you go into settings here, guys, um, and then scroll over to video, then all the way down, you see VSync. Now, currently it is on. Basically, what VSync does is it's going to tell your graphics card not to work as hard as it possibly can. So it's not gonna, it's gonna make it so your bottle, or your um, kind of bottleneck your graphics card, make it so it does not live up to its full expectation. Therefore, your graphics card is not going to be working as hard, but it's not, you're not gonna get the best frame rate and the best experience out of DCUO. So if you uh, slip, uh, switch VSync off, then it's actually gonna boost up your graphics card your graphics card is going to be working as hard as it can to produce a better frame rate in DCUO. Uh, V-Sync is actually only um, also going to keep a steadier frame rate, but um, having it off will give you more frames overall. And I, so if we flip it off here, guys, and I click accept and I say yes, my frame rate is actually, I have the frame rate at the top right here. Um, you guys actually won't be able to see it. But on Bandicam, it's telling me that my frame rate is at about 180 frames per second right now. So that is pretty much tripled the frame. No, it's not even tripled. That's like <sighs> multiplied the frame rate by six, guys. So I was at 30 before, and I'm at 180 now. I had to math there, guys, do my maths. Um, but I'm at 180 right now guys, so this is gonna boost your frame rate a ton of course Like I keep saying it is going to depend on how good your rig is But if you've got a decent rig guys, this is gonna let make DCUO look great The world looks amazing and you guys probably won't be able to see it on YouTube, which is pro which is really annoying um, but if you guys do this on VSync and it doesn't work for you and you have a decent and you have a good build um, that, that's like that's like my I've got a GTX 660 if, it, if your graphics card is as good or better than mine You're not getting around 180 frames per second or at least over 60 go ahead and dislike the video guys um, Because it obviously didn't work if it did work for you guys and you guys want to show your support Go ahead and hit that like button guys that sh that uh, again supports me a ton um, And show me you guys that you appreciated it uh, subscribe if you want more DCUO tutorials and videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, peace out, guys.